everyone, I'm back. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm coming back to you with a highly requested video which is the dried results of the IC Fantasia hair polisher gel. Now guys, I dropped the ball in the last video. I'm sorry, I didn't show you the dried end results, not even on my Instagram guys. I just don't know what happened. I, I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> But today, guys, I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to show you the comparisons half and half. One half Eco Styler, one half Icy Fantasia Gel, and you can see how the results turn out. So I'm going to show you the comparison, guys, and as I said, I'm just here to show you what my hair looks like before it's been washed. I'm going to go ahead and wash it now, and then I'll apply the gel. Gels. Hey guys, so I'm back from washing my hair and what I'm gonna do is what I done last time I'm not gonna apply any leave-in conditioner underneath the gels because I want to have a fair test And I want to see how the gels work by themselves without any interruptions interferences Okay guys, so first off I'm gonna start on this side as I usually do But the gel I'm gonna start with now is the eco styler reason being because this eco styler crystal holding number 10 I find it doesn't have as much slip as I see Fantasia, which makes it hard for me to apply once my hair starts to dry. But with the I see Fantasia, I feel that if my hair starts drying and I apply it, it kind of re-moisturizes it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do the usual thing, subsections, and then I'll work that way. Okay guys, before I carry on, I will say what I've noticed is I did yank out a piece of hair through applying the Eco Styler and that's because, as I said, it's not got a great amount of slip. That is what's happened so far with the Eco Styler. Okay, so let me just continue. Okay guys, so this is one side done and this was done with the Eco Styler Crystal Gel. So as you can see, some parts are quite weighed down and almost stringy looking, like these parts, and I've had to scrunch them back up. It's not like it's got slip, so if you saw when I was raking it through, some parts are almost getting tangled and it did hurt a bit. I had to kind of shingle individually. I mean, it doesn't separate the strands, you have to separate them yourself. So obviously that does add to the amount of application time. Let me just go ahead and apply the IC gel on my right side, your left side. <laughs> and I'll show you those results as well, guys. Don't 
Okay guys, so there you have it. I have applied both gels. This side, as you can see, is a lot more fuller. It's more dense and less flat than this side. This is the Eco Styler side. This is the IC Gel side. I don't know if I'm being biased. I don't think I am, but I really do prefer the IC Gel. And this is literally, it's gonna have to replace the Eco Styler now. So, as I was saying, if you can see this side, the Eco Styler is a bit more limp bit more tacky and I have to scrunch it more to get some definition now with this it's like butter as you can see let me just show you the differences okay I've got more definition on this side and I've got more frizz on this side so this literally just smooths everything and this kind of you have to kind of smooth it yourself okay okay I'm gonna show you the back so this side is the IC gel and this side is Eco Styler. Obviously I can't see the back myself but I'm assuming they most probably look similar but as I said I'm feeling this side more. Now I've got both gels on my hair at the same time. This side does feel a lot heavier and a bit more stringy. So you can see look, it's more flat. Whereas I never got this with the IC gel, look at that. And you, as you can see, it's all the way up to the root. The Eco Styler's at the root too, but I had to separate. So this is the IC gel, this is the Eco Styler. One thing I will say about the Eco Styler though, it's amazing for laying down the edges, whereas the IC gel, I'm not sure if it's because of the aloe vera or any oils in the gel, but it's not as good as laying down edges, which is fine, it does the main job. So I'm gonna go ahead let this air dry and I will most probably be back to you tomorrow guys So guys if you want to see the end dried results <laughs> Stay tuned, okay? Hey guys, all right, so I am back. This is not the next day. This is still the same day, but my hair is dried completely so if you have noticed guys in the meantime i've been busy putting purple hair paint wax into my hair but that is for another video i've shot two videos in one so guys if you remember earlier on this side i applied the eco styler and this side i applied the ic fantasia gel and as you can see guys there is a difference okay so 
If you can see, this side is longer. So this is the Eco Styler side. This is the Fantasia side. And basically, if you notice, the Eco Styler side is longer because my hair is more stretched. It's more limp and it's got a bit of a wave more than a curl. Okay, it's more pulled down. There's not really much shape to it. And these curls at the front, I really had to scrunch them. But on this side where I use the Fantasia gel, my curls are really, really popping. Okay, and it's softer. I've got more bounce, I've got more body if you can see that. And it feels softer. This side feels a bit more stiff. So let me just show you the difference. So this is the Fantasia side. This is the Eco Styler side. I think I was asked this question before. The IC gel does have a slight crunch to it, but it feels like it's coated with oil as well. I haven't put anything in except the gels. This side feels more tacky and a bit, mm, bit more crunchy. So the winner is going to be for me, the IC Fantasia gel, and this is going to be my staple. Let me show you both sides at the back. So guys, this is the Fantasia side IC gel. And this is the eco styler side. Obviously I can't see the back, so I don't know if there's a difference. I haven't looked, but I'm definitely feeling this side more. I feel like my curls are popping way more on this side than they are on this, if you notice. Okay guys, so these are the dried results. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you on Thursday.